Hello, my name is Manfred and welcome to my kitchen. Today, we're going to make a sandwich that is very quick and the flavor and the taste is easy and delicious that everybody in the family will want. We're going to do the grilled provolone and red pepper sandwich. This is very quick and easy. It has a sty Italian style bread, a little coleslaw on the side, roasted peppers, provolone cheese, mayonnaise and olive oil, and this is very exciting. So we always start in the kitchen. The first thing you do is you wash the hands because when you're out there in the public, you got no idea who be touching what and uh, taking all those things like that. So you wanna make sure that the hands are clean. And at the same time, you wanna make sure that you clean the fingernails because you use the fingernails in the kitchen all the time. Now, this is very quick and easy. And you all know that Manfred has always talk about the leftovers. Manfred have the leftover that he has taken out of the big jars and put in the smaller ones so that it's convenient in the fridge. Right here, we're going to get this. So here we go. We're ready. Yep. It's okay. Everything's in there. We have the mayonnaise. You can see what is left over there. Then we have got the red peppers, which we have drained and dried on the towel to make sure, because you don't want them to sink through the sandwich and a little bit of the oil. So the heat is turned on the cooker to get started to make sure that it's ready. Let's get the bread. Manfred have pulled two piece bread out here. You take them out of here. You put the one on the one side, the other on the other. You got one pair side by each. Very, very simple. Okay, get the mayonnaise. Take the knife and put the mayonnaise right to the edge, just like that. If you put the mayonnaise to the edge, the parent or anybody making for the kid, you know, the young kid, they eat the crust too. Oh, this is going to be so delicious. The mayonnaise right to the edge, just like that. Oh, that's it, right to the edge. There, that's the first part. That's how easy that is. Now we got two pieces of the provolone cheese. Take the one piece, put it on the one side. Oh, look how perfect that sit on the bread. That is perfect. There's the other one. That's right. Put that away. This is ready to go back in the fridge, the mayonnaise. Now we take a little bit of the red pepper. That's it. Just put them. Oh, let Manfred uh, stay out of the shadow there. Put and the flavor, the amount that you put on is, is up to you. We're, oh, we're going to put it all. Oh, that's absolutely perfect. These are the leftover that we have because we've looked in the fridge and said, hey, we can do this. Okay. Put this over to top just like that. Now, we're going to take the fry pan and put it on the burner to make sure it gets started to heat before we're going to use it. It only take a few seconds. What we're going to do here is the trick that Manfred liked to use. Let's get the small plate back here. There we are. Let's put the sandwich on it. Because the cheese is fairly, fairly stiff now and not melt so much already, we're going to put this in the microwave. There we are. And we're just going to heat that for 30 seconds. Now you can heat the bread for up to approximately the 45 second without making it, you know, like uh, it goes spongy and it's going tough to eat. So no, you don't need to uh, put it in that long. This short time will make sure that the cheese is ready to melt in the uh, fry pan. Now we're going to put just a touch of the olive oil. Oh, that's very hot. We take that off and turn the heat back. That's a good example of how it is. Here we are coming up. Now today, you could put the butter on this for do the frying, but today we're going to use the olive oil and you get this, uh, you can get these uh, little thing, uh, the little brush in the uh, inexpensive store and just put the olive oil right on the bread like that. Oh, this is going to give it such good flavor. Oh, Manfred can hardly wait to be tasting this. Set that down, take this. There's the first one we put in. Now let's put a little bit of the oil on the next one, just like this. Can you hear that? The olive oil is starting to uh, work with the uh, bread. There we are. Set that down, set that out of the way. Set the olive oil over. 
Oh, that sound just a little bit warm. Let's put the lid on it for a sec. Now, we're getting ready. That will be, oh, let's, you gotta check this all the time. Manfred not sure how fast this is cooking on the bottom. This is a, that was not so easy. Oh, that's good. That will work. Let's set this over here just like this. We're going to put this is two out of the way, just like that. Let's get out the plate. There's the, oh, this is going to be delicious. The nice red plate today. There we are. Back in here. Manfred have pre-prepared the coleslaw. Now you can learn how to make the coleslaw on manfredinthekitchen.com. During the week when you feel like being in the kitchen, make sure that you get these things pre-prepared so that when you wanna have the quick meal, you can put it together. Okay, off this come. This is not, this is a, oh, thank goodness. That doesn't look so good though. Well, we cleaned that up. Oh, oh, Manfred have touched his finger with the mouth and this is the learning experience. When you do that, you must wash the hands again. Oh, just this quick, just like that. Make sure that you don't put the finger in the mouth and then go back to work because you may have the, the cold which you pass on. Always be clean in the kitchen. Okay, here it is. That's it. Turn it off. Set this uh, down here. Oh, Manfred, he have the place. There we are. Set that right there. Make sure the handle is not so the kid can pull this and make it flop off and get into trouble. Okay, there. Let's just cut the, oh, notice the cheese is melted. Oh, yes. Yeah, that's it. Oh, good, good, good. There, just set that open. Set that down. Back here, Manfred, we'll get the fork. Oh, let's use two of the fork. Make it easy. Turn this around, just like that. Oh, look at that. Just look at that, how delicious that is. There we are. Set that away. Oh, let's add something else to this. Oh, we have pre-prepared. The carrots are cleaned and ready. Just like that. A little bit of the celery on the other side, just like that. Hey, that's it. We'll put everything away in a minute there. Back into the fridge. There it is. The perfect grilled provolone red pepper sandwich with the pre-prepared coleslaw, carrots, and celery. Oh, this is delicious. I am no chef, but I can cook, and this is fun in the kitchen.